feeling strong and courageous about the stand that we're taking. Um, but, you know, it, it's sad also at the same time. Certainly some mixed emotions new tonight. Oklahoma lawmakers have until the end of the week to meet teachers demands before schools across the state shut down and teachers walk out. To work she reporter Ashley Holt spoke with a union educator whose personal tragedy only highlights what she calls an unlivable salary. Endings that work in class today. Miss Wynn taught her sixth graders how to conclude a persuasive essay. I think we're already doing number one. She says Oklahoma no, teachers are already acing this lesson. Calling our legislators to action, definitely. But she's worried about what could happen if lawmakers don't take that action by April 1st. I think that they are saying at this time they don't think that the education is, is important. Pictures of her children sit beside her computer. The faces of a family who suffered on their mom's low pay. Yeah, it was rough and it was hard because our whole lifestyle changed, really. Their father died a year ago and Anita was left to care for them with only her teacher's salary. There are days where I have to juggle to pay, you know, the PSO bill this month or whatever. She picks up odd jobs in the district. I do three stipend jobs here at the school. But while grading hundreds of papers, she reads the hundreds of reasons why she really wants to walk out. I think it scares me that our kids are not going to get the funding that they need. The thought brought her to tears at Union's Board of Education meeting. Our state, my state, doesn't value our children and their futures. Wynn says that she speaks with her students about the walkout and they're prepared to be in school or leave empty hallways. This afternoon, she left her classroom hoping that come March 30th, when the lights go out, She'll be back April 2nd to turn them back on. From Tulsa, Ashley Holt, Two Works For You.